RLB has been working within the BIM environment since 2010. The fundamental principle of BIM is the collaborative use of a coordinated source of project data. A BIM file is different from a 3D drawing because it contains parametric data such as walls, windows, fixtures and doors, as well as attributes like their weight, density, fire rating, cost and time to install. This data within a BIM file is transferable to other systems. BIM is about people and process, not software, and is not limited to the design stage. BIM is not just 3D models and clash detection. And BIM is not new. It's only new to the construction sector in the last eight years. Some of the tasks we can do using a BIM file include visualization, life cycle costing, asset management, and standardization. Some RLB BIM projects include Catherine Towers, Johannesburg, Umschlange Arch, Durban, Park Lane, Ala Moana, Hawaii, Hang Seng Colleges, Hong Kong, New South Wales Art Gallery, Sydney, and the International Convention Centre, Auckland. To coordinate the use of BIM within RLB, a global BIM committee was formed in 2016. The committee have now agreed a company approach to delivering BIM. Following the production of the BIM General Awareness Guide last year, the BIM protocol is the second in a suite of guides produced by the RLB Global BIM Committee. The document captures best practice and lessons learnt from our experts across our global regions. The protocol part one key function is to explain to clients and designers RLB's approach to BIM and how we work within the BIM environment. The document will also act to further upskill the knowledge of our teams. The main theme of RLB's approach is both collaboration and early engagement, understanding each stakeholder's needs and requirements. This echoes a key element of BIM, collaboration. Working with designers to ensure the BIM model includes the appropriate data and attributes to allow the whole of the team to work efficiently. RLB use industry software to interrogate BIM models to check their integrity and accuracy. These tools allow RLB to interpret the models and make assumptions or allowances without creating additional work for designers. RLB's in-house cost planning tool, ROS 5D, allows us to extract quants from the BIM model for cost planning. The RLB protocol recognizes that different regions have different approaches and terminology in the detailed delivery of BIM and includes region specifics in this respect to ensure local relevance. Section 3.3 tailors the requirements to cater for local variation. We have developed this protocol in the first instance for quants extraction. We will be developing documentation for contract administration, project management, health and safety and asset management. We will train staff on using BIM based on regional requirements. Please speak with your region's key contact if you have any suggestions or comments.